guys, Johnny here with Rock and Pop Vinyls, episode 68. And I want to start this episode out right away, first and foremost, to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my little channel here about Funko Pop collecting, action figure collecting, of course my character card collecting, which I love to do, and I also like to play vinyl records while I'm doing it all. So there you have it. So guys, just like the thumbnail said, I have an epic Funko Pop haul. And when I say epic, it's epic. It's epic mainly because it's none of it's mail order. None of it's any pre-orders. This is all stuff I found out in the wild. I would have actually loved to have made it out in the wild video, but I didn't. It is what it is. But I do want to share them with you. And a lot of them are epic to me mainly because 80% of everything I'm going to show you in this episode, I actually wanted. And uh, there was a couple surprises along the way. I was kind of like, I just, you know, the Funko gods were staring down on me and said, hey, boom, we got some stuff for you. So with that said, let's get right into it. But we're not going to start right away with Funko. We're going to start out with some Hot Wheels because I found a couple Hot Wheels that were pretty cool. Let me see. Yeah, go ahead. So found a couple Hot Wheels that I thought were pretty cool. And of course, as you know, I only collect character cars, mainly Hot Wheels and Jada toys. Those are my two favorite because I think they make the best um, character cars out there. But I did find a couple. I, you know... As a collector, I'm always, I don't pigeonhole myself sometimes with what I'm looking for. I, I have an agenda, of course. I, I, you know, I do a round robin of things that I'm looking for. Always action figures, the cars, um, Funko Pops. And then I kind of look for just miscellaneous things here and there. But anyway, I haven't found a lot of cars lately. I have absolutely none of them pre-ordered. So it was kind of cool to be able to find a couple. And they happen to be Hot Wheels at that. So this first one here is from a new line that Hot Wheels has coming out that I didn't even know was coming out. It's a DC line. It's a five-piece line. Um, little higher-end Hot Wheels. It's not like the, the ones that you find for like, you know, a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. These are actually uh, five fifty each. And this is from their new uh, Metal Metal Real Ride series. It tells you right here on the bottom. And this is a Green Lantern. Check this out. It's pretty freaking awesome. This is a 66 Dodge A100 van. It's got his logo right here on the top. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. You got a big light sitting right there um it's got him on the side the artwork's awesome of course there's green lantern right there on the door uh this is a set of five and i'll tell you what i want all five of them i really want them really really bad they have a volkswagen that has pretty much justice league right here this looks to be like the um kingdom come uh superheroes like the artwork from that um we have a custom 77 dodge van with batman gonna get that they just have to have it we have this uh, bus, it's called Holland Gas, which I thought was pretty funny with Superman flying on the side. We have in the 67 Austin minivan with uh, Wonder Woman right there. And then of course, right here on the bottom, we have the Dodge with the Green Lantern. So this is a pretty cool line. Um, I, I haven't, I actually, I, I haven't been able to find any more in this line. So I don't know if it was supposed to be out yet or what. And I've only found this at one target and um, I'm kind of obsessed. I want the rest, and I'm going to keep on hunting, and as I get them, I will share them with you. And it, I kind of laugh because of the way the packaging looks, it looks like the tires are green. I was trying to check, but no, they're, they're not green. They're black. They're black with green trim, actually. But there you go. It's freaking awesome. Green Lantern car. Okay, so I had shown you before that the Hot Wheels had a 80th anniversary line of Batmobiles. I have all of them, or at least I thought I had all of them. They have another one out that I had no idea was coming out. They have a Batman 1940s Batmobile. Freaking awesome. Check this out. It is awesome, awesome. It's got the big bat head on the front with the yellow eyes. It's got this, that big, giant, obnoxious fin on the back. But this was cool back in, you know, the 1940s. Um, it is what it is. But it's a cool-looking car. I love this entire set. There's only two items from this set I don't really want. They have this uh, bat ski boat from the 1992 Batman Returns movie, and um, with that said, from that same movie, they did a, uh, a rubber ducky vehicle that the Penguin drove around in that movie, if you guys remember. I can care less about those two. I mean, I would pick up this Bat Ski Boat if it was on clearance, but I'm not going to go out of, way, out of my way to get it. But this one, seeing this 1940s Batmobile, had to have it. Had to have it. So there you have it. And uh, that's it for my character cars this week. I love both of them. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Funko Pops. All right, so we're going to start out with Walgreens. Not one of my favorite places to pick up Pops, mainly because they're usually damaged all the time or they just have a lot of old back stock most of the time when I go into a Walgreens. 
But they did have a Walgreens exclusive that just came out that I really, really wanted a couple of episodes ago. I shared with you guys. They had a Minion line for Halloween, and they are fantastic. I love the entire set. I bought them all right away, not knowing that Walgreens was going to get an exclusive. So I crossed my fingers, hoped and prayed I would be able to find it. I did find it, and not only did I find it, I found it in minty, minty fresh condition. Check this out, guys. We've got... Dave Acula, Walgreens exclusive for the Halloween Minion series. And like I said, it's minty, minty fresh. Check this out. Booyah! It's doing a little dance for you. And it's in great shape. And it's an awesome addition to that collection. I love this line. It's, it, I really like what they did with this. Um, this line right now, the regular Minions. I'm not buying like the Minions from the different multiple movies. Just this line is a, just a plain old Minions line. They're thinking outside the box. They're having fun with it. This is what Pops really need to kind of focus on right now is the fun part of it. And the big two lines that I'm looking at right now are the minions and it's not a very big line it's i mean we have four i already have the four and then of course this fifth one but they can honestly keep on going with this line if they wanted to there's so many um angles you know so many different characters different variations if they want to um but anyway i, I think it's a really cool set and i was really glad to find it especially in this condition at walgreens but anyway what i was getting at, okay i got sidetracked uh, the two lines that i really dig right now where they're doing this is this minions line and of course the disney pixar remix um, pops that are coming out. They're fantastic. And that's a big bulk of this um, pop haul. And uh, we're going to start off with uh, that. I went to Box Lunch, found me a few that I was actually looking for. I actually found all the ones that I was actually looking for, which very rarely happens as a collector. You, you know, if you've ever gone out and collected before, and you, you know, you're either, you're either hunting, 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 or you're pre-ordered. I didn't have to do any of that this particular week. I found everything I wanted. So yeah, so let's start off right away with Wally. So we have the alien dressed up as Wally from the movie. He's awesome, minty fresh. He's so fun, cool, cool looking pop. This whole series is cool. So let's stay on that. Now actually finding him, he was one I wanted, but what I went into box lunch for was this one. Sully from Monsters Inc. Had to have them. Freaking awesome. Minty fresh condition. Check that out, guys. I Like I said, I love this whole set. This actually is from uh, the Sully. Wally is actually from the second wave. So they've already on their, their second wave. They're really hitting the market hard with these. Um, there is a first wave out there. I only got actually a couple from that first wave. I'm kind of upset because, not upset, but you know what I mean? I'm kind of like bummed a little bit because I wasn't as proactive as I am being right now with these. I'm full blown collector attack mode right now when it comes to these remixes and so anyway we're on the second wave and they have a third wave on the way so i gotta get caught up and i gotta get caught up quick all right so this is the third one this one i was actually looking for as well we've got buzz freaking light here minty minty fresh awesome pop i mean like i said this is a really fun line just like that uh, minions line it's just they're fun they're neat they're thinking outside the box and they are coming out with a cool line and i know this is like a multi kind of purpose line i've seen other toys made by other toy makers that are doing this remix thing but the pops the funko pops they just hit a home run with it it's freaking fantastic all right staying with that it's box lunch again i I had a lot of luck at Box Lunch this week. So we have another one from the remix. We have Roz from Monsters University or Monsters Inc. And uh, Minty Minty Fresh. Fun, fun, fun. This one's actually probably one of the most detailed out of all of them. They actually took a lot of time with these. They really did. But this one with the glasses and the string around the glasses, the clipboard, the pencil, the sweater, the hair. I mean, they did a lot. They did really well with this, and uh, I'm glad to have it in my collection. So freaking awesome. Okay, so with that said, we got a couple more here. Oh, actually, this is from the, uh, not the remix, but we're going to stay on Disney anyway. We have Mayor from the new Nightmare Before Christmas line. There is a Chase Mayor. I'm looking for that one. I could have easily have pre-ordered that from like Chalice and something like that, but I'm kind of like, it. I'm really in the hunt mode right now, and I've had a lot of luck. Obviously, I struck out here. I got the uh, Common. But he's still freaking cool and a welcome addition to my Disney line. So there you have it. We'll stay on that one for a second because I have one more from that line. And we have Jack Skellington. Looks like he's kind of like making a face. Uh, not really. He looks angry, but it looks to me more like, you know, he's kind of like pulling his mouth open, making a face. But uh, he's cool. I love all the Jack Skellingtons. And uh, this is a welcome addition to my uh, collection. This is an easy line, too. It's a set of 
five. They have four. They have Sandy Claus, so, uh, Sally Sewing, the mayor here, and the Jack Skeleton they showed you. And, of course, the 10-inch Jack Skeleton with zero. So it's a fun line. And we got one more here. Another remix. That's exactly what I was reaching for in the bag initially, but I kind of just pulled the mayor out and said, eh, whatever, I'll just keep on moving along. But I have Wally, so with me having Wally, got to have Eve. So there you go. There's Eve. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome line, guys. This is a fun one. If you love your Disney Pops, if you, I mean, these, as far as I'm concerned, if you do like collecting Disney Pops, this is a must-have line. Um, it, I mean, it's a big line. They, they have three waves, and it's, but it's fun. Everything about it is great. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. Eve, that's Remix. All right, let's see what else I got here. Did I finish up? Oh, no. Okay. I actually did a trip to Walmart. Not Walmart, I'm sorry. Target. I was looking for this exclusive. And I found it. It's the uh, Target only. Uh, tar at, only at Target exclusive. This is the... Uh, um, metallic pink mystique from the 20th anniversary of the X-Men movie um, that came out in 2000. I have every pop from this line. I love this line. I have all three mystiques. I have the common, now this one, and of course the Marvel Collector's Core uh, mystique. All three of them are fantastic. Love it. Great line. And uh, that's what I went to Target for, but I ended up running into another remix, and it was in great shape. Minty Minty Fresh, Miss Incredible. There you have it. Also part of that second line. And uh, there you are. She's in great shape. Fun pop. Great line. And uh, I mean, this already we got two, four, six, eight, ten. And I'm not done yet. So, went to Walmart. And of course, if any, if any of you remember my video from a couple weeks ago, it was a little one off video I was talking about with Walmart. And they had the Marvel Zombie line. And they all had a Walmart exclusive sticker on it. I'm still kind of like in the dark on what happened there because they are actually just the commons that you can find at Hot Topic, um, Box Lunch, anywhere that wants to carry the Marvel Zombie line, including Target. And uh, they had the commons with the stickers on them. Now, of course, I bought them. Maybe there's a rarity or something. Um, I still haven't been told what what's going on with that, why that happened. Um, some people have said and responded to my videos and my Instagram regarding it that um, initially this line was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive period and something happened and they ended up going widespread. If that's the case, that's the first time I've ever seen that and I, I don't really buy it. I mean, or I mean, if, it, if that's the case, man, that's one of the biggest snafus I ever heard of. So, hey, guys, if you guys know anything regarding that, comment down below and let me know. And I just want to know. I'm just curious. But what I went into Walmart for was actually the exclusive that they really, really had. And that is the uh, glow-in-the-dark Walmart zombie um, Mysterio here. He's awesome. He's great. I actually uh, checked him out already. And the glow on this pop is fantastic. It just really is. And uh, I'm finally excited to uh, have an exclusive from this line from Walmart. Because apparently all of them are exclusives. But this is a fun pop. Had to have it. Welcome addition to my um, Marvel line. So, all right. Last bag, guys. It's a Hot Topic bag. It's only four, but the, with all these pops, this is going to take up so much of my space here. So I'm just going to set this down and pull them out from uh, the bag itself. Let's start off with this run at Hot Topic, what I actually went for. So I've got two of these. This is the Art Series Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. These are freaking awesome. They are a little pricier than normal pop, I believe. Yeah, they're $17.90. I had some hot cash and some uh, cash credit with Hot Topic. So I was able to get these for about $9. Um, they're fantastic. It's just another art series where they actually put them in a pop stack for you. A little stacky, pretty cool. Nice little selling point with that. But they're fun. Uh, they're very... Uh, Along the same lines as the Star Wars art series that was exclusive to Target, and they came in a pop protect, a pop stack as well. Um, it's just cool, you know. It's a little little out there, and uh, but it's fun. And there it is. That's the common. And then we have the art series Hot Topic exclusive where he is uh, black, and again in a pop stack. This is what I went in there for, and uh, I was glad to pick them up and uh, use my hot cash and my credit but of course i ended up getting a couple more end up getting this one now this one's really really cool because i wanted this one when it first came out it was pretty valuable it had a good uh 
um, uh, value on the PPG and uh, Hot Topic has a restock on them. Now, with that said, we've been talked about restocks a few times, and restocks, they do hurt the value of uh, pops. They just do. Um, it's not drastic. Uh, this particular pop was hovering in the high 40s, low 50s. Um, with the restock, it's still in the low 40s right now, so it does have a decent value on it. But the bottom line is I missed it the first time around. I really wanted it then. I really wanted it now. And uh, here we are, Clockwork Gorge, Alex the Large, Hot Topic exclusive. Finally got them. Welcome addition to my movie line, which is, of course, is my number one when it comes to my pops. My movie line is always going to be my number one. I love the movie pops. So there he is. I'm finally glad I got them. And I have one more to go, guys. Now, this one was really, really cool because this one caused the purchase of this uh, one I'm getting ready to show you. And the reason that is, at this particular Hot Topic, everyone that works there knows me. I, I'm in there three, four times a week. I'm always buying pops, always looking around. But, well, one of the guys working behind the counter saw me work, looking at this pop, and in his view, this was a, in his eye, you know, or, or in his point of view, anyway, he uh, thought I was looking at a horror pop. I mean, this movie's not a horror movie, but, you know, it does have kind of a macabre kind of like look to it, you know. But with that said, he saw me looking at this pop, and he thought, hey, John's looking at horror pops, movie pops, I've got something for him. So he walks up and goes, hey, man, do you want this? And I'm like, what? And I look, and he handed me the chase of Patrick Burke, uh, Bateman, I almost said Patrick Burke, Patrick Bateman from the movie American Psycho. I love this movie. I love this pop. I have the common. I have the Hot Topic exclusive. And I, I really, really wanted the chase. And lo and behold, boom, he walked up, handed it to me. What the big clincher on this was, my hot cash applied to this. So did my uh, cash uh, that, uh, that they, uh, the cash that they owe me, like the $5 reward. So I actually ended up purchasing this for roughly about $7 when it was all said and done. So it was killer. And he just walked up and he put it right in my hand. And I was like, it sold. So, you know, like I said, guys, I mean, awesome week for Pops. I mean, I found all these out in the wild. None of them were ordered. And I just lucked out. And I had, uh, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't pay an arm and a leg for them. So, uh, yeah, and they're all welcome additions. So anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. I want to thank you for, again for uh, watching. And if you guys like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, click that bell down below so you get notifications on any future video that I drop. And uh, yeah, I also have a Patreon if you guys are interested in signing up on there. I got some really cool tiers. And once a month, I do a drawing for the Patreons where you can win a box of Funko Pops. So it's a mystery box of six from my personal uh, Funko Pop collection. So yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys uh, soon. Bye. Hey, what's up? Maddie Mullins here, and you are watching Rock and Pop Vinyls with Johnny Ringo.